Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning ladies and gentlemen Thank you so much for giving your attention to me Today, I want to talk about how to have better English pronunciation But, before I start, let me introduce myself My name is Rahmatul Kurniyanti And I am a student in the IEN Purwokerto Ladies and gentlemen When speak English, we must learn about pronunciation there are two advantages from learning pronunciation. First, you can speak like native speaker. Second, you can easily understand what other people say in English. Ladies and gentlemen, nowadays many people speak in English, but their pronunciation still have preserved and perfunctorily. It can be caused by half teaching pronunciation. It means that the instructor is not serious and don't really care about the importance of pronunciation when speaking in English. As a result, English learners will pronounce according to the writing. For example, welcome. It should be spoken well, not well, Tom. Then a word, how. It should be spoken how, not ho. Ladies and gentlemen, actually, to have better English pronunciation in English is not as complicated as you think. There are, there are easy way which you can practice on your own way no need mentor and don't need spend a lot of money the easy way that you have to do is often to listening you can listening music listening audio from native speaker or watching tv when you do listening by watching TV, I recommend to you to turn off the subtitle or you can turn on the subtitle but it must English subtitle. Then after you do listening, you have to do practice. If you just listen and do not practice, it will be useless. So keep practicing every day and you can be able to pronounce a word in English correctly. For English learners, a uh, shame to practice is a problem that is not trivial. So, for you English learners, also for me, don't be shy. Always practice, practice, practice and never give up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes of my talk today. The main point is keep practicing, don't be shy, and never give up. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ah, you can practice with this song. Check it out. Only sometimes.